Maya Harrison swept the music world in 1998 with the release of her debut album. The singer and songwriter, who can play the violin and is classically trained in tap dancing and ballet, brought a new vibe to the industry. And many assumed the multifaceted artist would dominate the charts for many years to come. She collaborated with everyone from Blackstreet and Mace to Proz and ODB. She also snagged a Grammy, tried her hand at acting, and even starred in the film Shall We Dance? But as the years passed by, Maya seemingly disappeared, and there are more than a few reasons why she decided to shun the spotlight. This is a story of men in the industry spreading hurtful rumors about her. I've been in this business for 20 years. I've heard it all about right. me and other females too, but mostly the females get scrutinized and the males get mm. praised. Mismanagement by her record label and a mental health breakdown that almost destroyed her life. Here's what really happened to Maya. Maya Harrison is one of three children born to Teresa, an accountant, and Sherman, a musician and singer. At the age of four, she fell in love with music after watching her dad sing in church. She told Vibe magazine she was moved by his performance and she wanted to make people feel the same way she felt about music. As she expressed her interest in the music business, her dad helped her perfect her vocal abilities. And both of her parents took control of her career and became her managers. Her dad shopped around her demo, and while she was still a teenager in high school, she signed a recording contract with Interscope Records. For two years, her record label assembled an all-star cast of collaborators, including Missy Elliott, Drew Hill, Diane Warren, and Silk the Shocker. In April 1998, when Maya was just 18 years old, her debut self-titled album was released. It went platinum, with over 2 million copies sold worldwide. Everything was perfect. All of her dreams were finally coming true, but sadness was right around the corner. The same year her debut album was released, her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and her parents' marriage was falling apart. Her mom was admitted into the hospital for treatment and Maya told Vibe magazine her mom refused to check herself out of the facility until after the divorce was finalized. Through the turmoil, Maya was still trying to prove herself to her record label. She was the only R&B artist on the roster and they wanted her to compete with top teenage acts in the industry like Aaliyah, Brandy, and Monica. Her record deal was the opportunity of a lifetime and her main goal was to be able to financially support her entire family. There was no way she was going to walk away from her deal, but the pressure became too much for young Maya to handle. She told Refinery29 she didn't know if her mom would survive or if her dad would end his life over all the stress. She was also embarrassed by her family being ripped apart. She fired her dad as her manager and did a lot of praying and crying behind the scenes. She was too terrified to let her label know what she was going through over the fear they would force her to take a mental health break. So she powered through it all and continued to fulfill her contractual obligations. She released the album Fear of Flying in 2000, followed by Mood Ring in 2003. And then Maya decided it was time to focus on herself. She told Refinery29 that in 2005, she moved back home to Washington, D.C. Her brother built her a recording studio. She created a nonprofit foundation for kids from broken homes. And she became a jazz dance teacher for a period of time. She also tried her hardest to make sure peace and harmony flowed within her immediate family. Even though taking a hiatus was on her agenda, she was still pushed into remaining involved in the industry. In 2005, she signed with Ford Modeling Agency and brought in a new management team to handle her singing career. Maya said her new managers suggested she link up with a high-profile celebrity to further her career. But she refused to get involved in a PR stunt just to keep her name in the headlines. Maya told Hot 97 that she fired multiple managers and publicists who suggested she date someone just to help her album sales. However, that didn't stop the media from dragging her through the rumor mill. In 2005, 50 Cent and The Game began beefing with one another, and Maya got entangled in their feud when both rappers claimed they had been intimate with her. Maya tried to ignore all the lies up until 50 Cent released the song Not Rich Still Lion in 2006. Impersonating the game's voice, 50 raps, and I get bad, now I even, Maya. I, her first game, 50 you a liar. 
In 2006, she told Vibe magazine she and 50 never dated, never cuddled, and never did anything together despite what the rapper chooses to believe in his own mind. Maya added, I don't know how he would get Lloyd Banks confused with me. She later told Vlad TV that she sat down with 50 Cent's manager, the late music executive Chris Lighty, to clear the air. 50 allegedly interrupted the meeting and reportedly confessed to lying about being involved with her. Although she hoped 50 would make a public apology, Maya wasn't going to hold her breath. She said, I've addressed it and you have to pray for certain people. So I know how it works in this double standard society and I'm whatever, I'm okay with that. I know me. And then there were rumors she hooked up with Jay-Z after they teamed up for the song Best of Me Part 2. She finally decided to address that rumor after an Instagram follower asked her about her alleged 11-year affair with the rapper. Maya answered, never did, never was, never will. While she continued to star in various movies, she also left her record company in 2006 and signed with Universal Motown. She recorded her fourth album, Liberation, in just three months. But due to budget cuts, the release date was pushed back numerous times. Eventually, the album was accidentally leaked in Japan. Mm -hmm. And um, things happen, you know, albums get leaked. And you got to figure out which way you want to go, in court or go independent. And her record label then released the album as a digital download only in October 2007, which really bothered Maya. Completely fed up with her label and the industry as a whole, she left Universal Motown. She launched her own label, Planet Nine, in 2008. I have been independent for the last 10 years, and the freedom is all yours regarding timing. When you want to release something, there are no deadlines. Maya told the Boombox that Planet Nine is much more than a label. It's her own universe. She often takes herself out of the earthly man-made world and transports herself to her own planet. She said that Planet Nine is where she is able to peacefully pray, meditate, think, and follow her own rules without any of the pressures she has witnessed on Earth. Planet Nine is also a place where she can connect with her fans, and some of them have even become a part of her unique world. She told Essence that one of her talented fans from Mexico created some art for her. She loved the art so much that the fan is now employed by Planet Nine to design promo banners, album covers, and her tour banners. Other fans have been trained by Maya to become her road managers and photographers. In 2008, she released Sugar and Spice, and in 2009, she appeared on Dancing with the Stars. In 2011, she released the album Kiss. She independently released three EPs in 2014 and 2015 before releasing her next studio album, Smooth Jones, in 2016. The album caught the attention of the industry, and Maya was nominated for Best R&B Album at the 2017 Grammys. Then her album TKO The Knockout was released on April 20th, 2018 to commemorate the 20th anniversary of her debut album. Maya says she's constantly approached by fans who beg her to release new music. She politely directs them to her website and social media pages and lets them know she has never stopped making music. She has just taken a different approach to her career, which unfortunately means she doesn't always receive the airplay she deserves. Without a big record company backing her, she can't always afford to get her music heard by the masses. But she isn't complaining. Despite all the shakeups that have happened during her career, her creative process hasn't changed. She told Ebony Magazine she doesn't leave the studio until 5 in the morning, sleeps until 1 in the afternoon, gets up and starts the process all over again. She told Vibe if she has a deadline, she sometimes won't eat for three days in a row. Of course, this has left her family very concerned. Even though she still financially supports them, Maya told Vibe her family has asked her to choose another career path because it's too expensive to be an independent musician. But her 2017 Grammy nomination was enough confirmation for her that it was all worth it, despite all the low moments in her life. As the head of her own label, Maya told The Culture she's her own manager, does her own engineering in the studio, drafts contracts, and fully funds her projects. This type of freedom has served her well, but it comes at a cost. She once owned homes in Maryland and California. But since she has to fund herself, she told Vibe in 2018 that she downgraded her entire life. She moved into a tiny studio apartment in California. She doesn't invite friends over, she doesn't date, and she didn't bother to spend money on furniture. All of her money goes toward her music. 
In regards to her love life, she told Hot 97 she has only had two boyfriends in the industry, but she would never reveal their names out of respect. As of 2018, she said she's single, focused, celibate, and had been vegan for five years. Her new healthy lifestyle also helped her drop 30 pounds. Maya has built her own magical world that is full of positivity, and anything that threatens her happiness gets banished. She told The Source that because she tries so hard to protect herself from negative forces, she frequently turns down gigs. But in 2018, she was presented with the perfect opportunity when she joined the cast of the drama series Fifth Ward. And in 2019, she linked up with her friend Lil' Kim to become a cast member of the VH1 show Girls Cruise. She celebrated her 40th birthday in 2019 as well, and collaborated with a lot of different artists, including Tory Lanez. She told Essence Magazine she's working on her ninth studio album, which is scheduled to drop in 2020. Even though she may not be at the forefront of the industry anymore, Maya now has complete control over her career and her life, and she couldn't be any happier. Let us know your thoughts on Maya's career, and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.